action. My name is Sarah K. Halani, and I was born and raised on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. And I um, primarily grew up in Hawaii and then moved shortly after in high school here to Vegas. And I got to kind of, you know, get to know the city and, um, you know, quickly learned how there was much more to just the city life on the strip. And being half raised in Hawaii and I guess half raised as an adult in the city, I got to learn a lot about people. And so in general, I just got into fitness. I got into martial arts training. Um, I was just kind of a born athlete and, you know, that was pretty much my passion growing up here um, as an adult. So I feel, you know, really compelled to really carry out the dream of wanting to be the fitness coach that I've become um, to help change other people's lives and, you know, really just encourage, you know, and motivate people for health and wellness. How long did you say she was living in Vegas? So I lived here in Vegas uh, a little over 20 years um, now. So it's been, yeah, it's been quite a journey. And I feel like, you know, part of, part of the, the journey of living here is getting to see what it's like in the nightlife and then also what it's like in the everyday day life you know there's people that go to work there's people that go to school and um just like the hustle and bustle of the grind and i feel like you know just being able to see like the contrast of you know living in the suburbia world um you get you get to, you know, understand, I mean, geographically, you know, the city really well, but you also get to learn about, you know, different areas of shopping, you know, where to go for entertainment. Um, you build, you know, relationships with people, businesses. Um, I personally um, had, you know, the opportunity to meet a lot of business owners here in town through networking. And I feel like that's helped me advance a lot in my professions. Um, so, you know, just having a little bit of a, that knowledge and experience of being in this town for that long, it's um, helped guide me through, um, you know, where I'm at today. What are two of your favorite workouts you like to do in order to stay fit? Oh gosh, so one of my two favorite workouts I would have to say is um, I like hot Pilates and boot camp workouts because you're in a hot room generally, you know, in like the upper 90 degrees, sometimes 100 depending on, you know, the, the level of heat you want and, you know, I feel like that type of fitness training is kind of an intense cardio, um, some sculpting. And I, I feel like it really gets your, you know, your heart rate up and it also relaxes and stretches and tones your body. Um, you just come out of there feeling really, really good. Um, I've been doing it for about eight, nine years now. Um, I just feel like that type of workout suitable. It's so suitable for me and my body type. Um, now others may have a different preference. Um, and then another thing that I really enjoy is um, I've been weight training for many years. I've done it all through high school and you know through my martial arts training and then of course in, in the latter years. Um, but I really enjoy you know strength training. Um, free weights, um, different types of exercises with um, weighted exercises, of course, and all different types of body, parts of the body. So um, I would say those two workouts are my preferred workouts and they're most effective for me. What are some of your hobbies that you enjoy outside of uh, fitness? Um, I really enjoy... Um, well, I'm definitely out for Ask her again, sorry. What are some of your hobbies that you enjoy outside of fitness? 
Yeah, my hobbies that I enjoy are, I like the outdoors. So I enjoy hiking. You know, I have a really nice um, Red Rock National Canyon Park back in my backyard um, that I enjoy, you know, going out for, you know, hikes um, with my dog, sometimes without, with friends. Um, I also enjoy, um, I mean, in the wintertime, I like to snowboard. Um, that's, that's a sport that I, it's a little extreme sport, but, but I enjoy it. Um, I also like just the idea of socializing with friends, um, just having a little bit of that adult time to go out and just relax and unwind and, you know, have a nice, you know, let's say you're going to have a drink or, um, you know, a beverage, appetizers, good conversation with friends. Um, I think that's important to socialize. Um, as far as like other hobbies, um, I'm really into art and music. So uh, a lot of my passion is, you know, playing uh, piano, ukulele, and I just, I like to be creative. So if I can draw, if I can paint something, um, those are things that I like to do on my free time if I'm really going to do something. Other than that, read books, things like that. Can you tell me a challenging experience that has shaped who you are today? A challenging experience that has shaped who I am today? Oh yeah, there's so many. Um, I would say one huge challenge that I went through was being in a Category 5 hurricane. Um, it definitely changed who I was today. Um, it made me really appreciate life in general. Um, it humbled me to understand how precious it is to be in this world and two seconds you could be gone in a catastrophe like that. Um, it definitely changed my views in life of, you know, um, just being, you know, a little bit more cautious, wanting to do everything and anything you can in your life because you never know when it's going to be your last day. Um, and then there's another, there's another time in my life, um, and I, I can be very um, open about this because, you know, I was younger and experimental. Uh, I tried smoking cigarettes. I thought I was cool. Just out of high school, I was training for martial arts. Um, at that point, I was just kind of a socialized cigarette smoker. And I was training with this, um, this fellow, um, member on in my studio and Mr. Nash um, him and I were sparring together he literally kicked my ass in a sparring session of practice and I realized at that point I was so winded um, and I just felt like that contributed to smoking cigarettes and from that day forward I just decided to quit um, I quit cold turkey because of him. That was one thing that really shaped me. And it was, you know, it occurred to me that, um, you know, life's short and you, you have to try to stay healthy in all realms. Maybe that was something that needed to happen in my life so I could understand that, you know, my training, um, my physique, everything was important. So um, that, was, that was kind of a, a pivotal time in my life where it really changed me. This person really changed me and helped mold me to be a better person uh, to quit smoking. So that was kind of monumental for me. Um, and then of course, you know, I think being a mother with kids, you know, you just tend to wanna, you know, survive and, you know, be a good example for your children. So for me, I always wanted to set the bar high and the example high for them. So I wanted to show them that, you know, it's important to stay you know, active and in shape and eat healthy. So my kids were also um, part of that. What values or lessons from martial arts do you apply to um, the areas in your life? Oh, okay. So that's a, that's a really good question. What areas have in, what, what things that I've learned in martial arts that really shaped me and who I am? Um, I think the biggest thing in martial arts is learning how to be patient and stay disciplined. Um, also learning how to be respectful on the mat, um, you know, learning 
you know, of course, self-discipline, um, integrity, learning how to be humble, um, and just having a sense of self-confidence um, really has shaped who I am today. If I didn't have martial arts in my, uh, my life lessons, uh, I probably wouldn't have had understood the values of, you know, what it meant to have integrity and have self-respect and self-confidence. Um, martial arts actually makes you, I don't know, it, it's, it's like it makes you feel as if you're invincible. And I loved the feeling. I was a competitive fighter for years, and I just, I really enjoyed those years. And um, I, I want to train again and go back into it, but it's definitely really shaped who I am today. If I didn't have that training, I probably would have a whole different mindset in life. So you've been a coach in the fitness portion of the show. So my question to ask would be, how do you feel the contestants are doing with your fitness portion of the show? Uh, so in that respect, if I have to look back and just kind of judge based on the couple of classes that I've taught so far, um, the contestants I feel like, you know, may, some may have already had some previous, you know, athletic training or training in, in the boot camp, but as far as an overall um, observation, I would say most of, most of everyone in the class has been fully engaged. They've been kind of going through the training and practicing all of the, the forms and the exercises that I'm teaching them throughout the class. I think that they're doing really good. Um, I, I think that it's effective to them. I hope that they're enjoying it. I hope that they're giving, you know, feedback as, you know, they're, they're gaining some type of knowledge behind it because ultimately that's my goal is to make sure that, you know, these, um, competitors understand that, you know, it is a challenge and we want not only you to challenge yourself, but, you know, it's a challenge within the competition. So if you can you know, uh, make that workout just that 45 minutes of time most effective for your body, you know, why not? And hopefully, hopefully, you know, what I'm teaching and instructing them is, you know, it's, it's a positive effect on them. That's all I, that's all I want. I want them to gain knowledge and also, you know, build their physique. If there was anybody from the contestants that you could eliminate now, who would it be and why? Um, well, I mean, that's kind of easy because there's only one contestant that stands out that really hasn't participated. And I would say out of everybody that has been showing up to the class, showing the respect of being there on my time um, and practicing the workout. Um, Millionaire Brandy has not been to class overall. And when she was taking the first class, I feel like she wasn't really putting her 100% in. And that was, maybe she could have had a bad day that day. Maybe she, didn't like the workouts. I don't know, but from my observation, if I had to judge out of all the contestants, I would say that she would be the one that was least involved. A message that you would like to give to the contestants on the show? My message to the contestants would be to really just take the time to really think through why you're here and what your projected goal is. 
I know you want to win, you know, the grand prize, but really, what do you want to gain out of this competition? You have to really decide for yourself what's most important. Are you going to gain knowledge, wisdom, understanding what it's like to have camaraderie, a team, kind of these competitors around you, you're learning different things, different traits about them. Um, these are all life lessons. So just the message is to really sit back and be in the present, be in the now and really absorb every moment that you can and try to make the best out of it. Be the best person that you can be at all times, period. Because you are the best. And if you believe it, then you are it. Thank you very much, Coach Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. All right.